I had a brother send me a link to this video here, and it is a very good video, and I think a very um, something we should be concerned about as Christians: the papal agenda of integration, forced integration, to bring down a nation. They bring in foreign armies and things. This has happened all throughout history. They'll bring in foreign people to come into a nation, force them in there, and they basically destroy the country. And that's what's happening with the Muslim invasion. It's happened in Europe. I mean, you look at countries like Sweden and, and Germany and things uh, that's just been destroyed by Islam. Um, Islam is a very satanic religion. It's they would even call it a religion. It's more like a cult. But the whole point is it's not even so much the Islam thing. It's just these people being ripped out of the boundaries that God has set up for them. Um, it's very bad. But uh, I found something very interesting with what this woman says here. Uh, and it, uh, this Josh Tolley guy, I really don't know a whole lot about him or whatever else. I'm not endorsing him. Um, but this is an important video and I think you know people here in America should watch this. Uh, it's, but listen to what they say about Catholic charities. And notice also that the the Jews are involved in this. There's Jews that are serving the Vatican. Don't think because I support Israel that I support everything that's Jewish. I don't. Okay. Uh, they are God's chosen people, but that doesn't mean that they're right. That's the whole point of the time of Jacob's trouble. Uh, God's judgment is going to be coming upon the Jewish people. Um, they're very wicked. Right. Doesn't mean that, that you know that my whole thing and my support for Israel is they I support their right to the land. I don't support what they do. Okay. Just to clarify that. But listen, this is very important here. Listen to this coming up. And they never answered my question. That's crazy. Yeah. That's absolutely nuts. So they get off the airplane. They're they're taken. Where where do they go from that point? Well, uh, before they arrive, uh, agencies. There's there's some agencies that are supposed to be administrating the uh, influx of these refugees. So there's in Kansas City, it's Jewish Vocational uh, Services or Jewish Technical Services. They've gone go by both names. Uh, and then in St. Louis, uh, Catholic Charities. And then there's okay. a Lutheran organization. And so these. Okay. Catholic Charities. There's Catholic Charities stores around here. I've seen them. They're like a Salvation Army or a Goodwill a thrift store type of a thing. Catholic Charities. And they're the ones that are distributing these illegal aliens. And I mean, watch the whole thing. I'm not going to play the whole thing here. But they're, they're bringing in these, these diseased Syrian refugees, men from the ages of 15 to 44, she says. And they're giving them all kinds of things, money, cash, all kinds of stuff. Just listen for a little bit longer. These, these uh, agencies, if you will, receive funding for these refugees. They receive right off the bat $2,500 just to Whoa. go pick them up. I mean, just, just to bring them in and process them. Okay. And so after that, then, they're also awarded block grants. And the block grants are for setting up shops, so to speak, so that you can have a staff and an office and office equipment and leasing costs, all of this. So, uh, and, and, and we know that they're making an incredible amount of money doing this. Uh, we, we haven't, I have not been able to ascertain exactly how much money is being spent on the refugees themselves versus how much money is being awarded to these agencies. Sure. So, uh, in, in my estimation, these agencies are making quite a bit of money off of this, off of this uh, program. It's almost like they're making money running refugees. Sure. Wow. Sure. So, not only is the Vatican uh, bringing in refugees to destroy America, to destroy the freedoms that we have here, and destroy the peace and tranquility that we enjoy as American citizens, not only is the Vatican doing this, as I've been saying, their integration agenda, um, they've been doing this for a long time. This is the final stages where they're going to destroy this country. Not only are they doing it, they're making money doing it. But you heard her say there that it's a Jewish organization, it's Lutheran and Catholic. Found this interesting here, um, this video here, uh, showing Lutherans and Catholics together. Let's play a little bit of this. The Pope met in the Vatican with this group of Catholics and German Lutherans who have traveled to Rome together. The Pope had the scarf for Catholic pilgrims and it was symbolically tied to the one worn by Lutherans, so he wore both at the same time. Later the 
So he's wearing both the Catholic and the Lutheran thing at the same time. You know? And you can watch this video again. Again, I'm not going to uh, waste time doing the whole thing, but check this out at the end. Deep down, Lutherans and Catholics are already united because they are all Christians. Okay, that's what the Pope said. Deep down, uh, Catholics and Lutherans are united because they're all Christians. <clears throat> and he's going to be ce doing celebrations for the 500-year uh, anniversary of Martin Luther this coming October, here in 2017. <clears throat> Here we have another one. Pope visits university. Do not be afraid of migrants, he says. And he goes through here doing a speech. <clears throat> See if I can get to it here. In Brussels were committed by young people born in Europe, but who'd not been integrated in society. He also recalled that one in ten Swedes is an immigrant or the son of immigrants, but they are perfectly integrated. E quando c'è questo accoglienza, <coughs> accompagnare e integrare, non c'è pericolo. Yeah, there's no danger. There's no danger. Tell that to the people in Sweden, tell the people in Germany, the brothers and sisters over there in the UK. Yeah, there's no danger. You know, we're just seeing them doing things and terrorism and stuff like that. God's system is segregation, not because one race is better than another, that isn't it at all. It's to preserve the races, to preserve unique ethnic diversity. That's God's system. Let me show you. Acts chapter 17, verse 26. You'll hear this thing. People will say, Acts 17, 26 says, you know, he's made of one blood all nations, so there's no races. They won't keep reading the verse. All these hypocrites, they'll never read the whole verse. Look at this. Acts 17, 26. And hath made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on all, all the face of the earth, and hath determined the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitation. There are boundaries. They've never gone away. Never. In Christ, we're all one. Sure. Absolutely. Saved, born again, Bible-believing Christians. Not Catholics, not Protestants, not Lutherans. Not Jews, okay? Saved Bible believing Christians, we're all one as far as God doesn't prefer one over another, right? But there, God doesn't say, okay, you're one now, so I'll just come together. Uh uh. He doesn't say that for Christians, and he certainly does not say it for lost people. But if you want to know what's going on here, you say, well, you know, why are you, are you against integration? Why are you so against this? Let me show you, all right? Uh, let's see. No, it's Genesis chapter 10. I'm trying to think here. Actually, you know what? I think it's 11. I don't have my Bible here in front of me. <clears throat> okay, Genesis chapter 11, verse 5. The building of the Tower of Babel. All right, the ancient Babylonian pagan system. And this is where Roman Catholicism goes back to. It's, it's, you know, it goes through, up through Babylon, then it's the Media Persian, then it's the Greek, and then it's the Roman, and then Roman Catholic. All right, that's the course of this ancient Babylonian mystery system. Uh, it's not America is Babylon now or something stupid like that. No, Rome is the one who's doing this. But check this out. Genesis 11, verse 5. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one. They're integrated. And they have all one language and this they begin to do and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do go to let us go down and can there confound their language that they may not understand one another's speech so the Lord scattered them abroad from the thence upon the face of all the earth and they left off to build the city um, <clears throat> therefore is, is the name of it called Babel because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth and from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth all right God does not want everybody coming together. I mean, think about it. If you're going to have a new world order, a one world government, do you have to bring people together or keep them separate? You bring the people together. That's how you have a new world order. And then you, you go after people like me who stand against it and you say, you call me a racist. Well, you know, let's just do another little thing here quickly because I get so sick and tired of that. <clears throat> racist definition. What is it? What is a racist? 
let me show you here. A person who shows or feels discrimination or prejudice against people of other races or who believes that a particular race is superior to another. All right. Showing, a f showing or feeling dis discrimination or prejudice, prejudice against people of other races or believing that a particular race is superior to another. I don't teach that. All right. It's not prejudice and things like that. It's me saying, hey, I want to be able to stay separate from them. I want to preserve my unique ethnicity. I'm not going to marry some black woman sometime, you know, I'm married and everything, have children, but, you know, or have a son. But the point is, if I was a single man, I'm not going to marry a black woman. Why? Because I don't want to mess her ethnicity up. You understand? That's not being a racist. I respect other kindreds, other peoples, other races. I respect them and I want them to keep their unique ethnicity. But see, to form a one world government, you have to bring all people together. And right there, it, we're, it is being forced upon us. If we say, no, no thank you, I don't want to live in an integrated area and whatever else. I'm going to live in an area where it's mostly people like me. Oh no, you can't do that. They're going to forcibly integrate, which leads to violence. I mean, in areas where it's predominantly the same kind of people, you don't have much violence. But when you start to mix all the different people together and different ethnicities together, all of a sudden they don't get along. Why? Because you're going against God's system. So, you know, if you want to see the whole thing, this Josh Tolley interview with this woman here, it's, it's uh, quite upsetting to see how they're destroying this country on purpose. But it goes right back to the Vatican, just like the Bible said. Just like I've been preaching for a long time. I get called crazy and whatever else. It's the Vatican that's behind it. Absolutely 100%. Uh, that's why I recommend that uh, people get away from the Vatican. If you're a Catholic, you need to get saved. You need to get away from it. All right, you're not saved. Uh, you're not even allowed to say that you're saved, that you know for sure you're going to go to heaven when you die. Um, you're not allowed to say that as a Catholic. Truly. You know, I realize there's so many you know, varieties of what people call Catholic nowadays. But... Uh, True Catholic doctrine teaches that you have to die in a state of grace. If, if you're constantly having to work for your salvation, uh, you can't know that you're going to go to heaven when you die. Right? And, you know, you can debate it back and forth. I know, I know. <laughs> but it's just like, look what your church is doing. The Catholic Church. Look what the Pope stands for. You need to come out of Catholicism. 